Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is our first lecture on uh, passive electrical filters. In this lecture, we will discuss uh, the structure of passive filters and then we will categorize them into low pass filter, LPF, high pass filter, HPF, and band pass filter. Uh, we will also discuss the first order as well as second order filters based on the number of capacitors or inductors that we are using in a filter circuitry. So these are the contents of our today's lecture. Uh, we will uh, study the electrical filters and after that uh, we will go deep into the design of these electrical filters and study passive filters and then in passive filter we will study low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter and band stop filter. We will discuss uh, the first order low pass, high pass filters, uh, its frequency response, uh, its cutoff frequency and center frequency FC and after that we will also discuss the second order filters and the usage of such filters in pulse shaping and some scenarios. We will uh, also study the formulas with the help of some examples for better understanding. So most electrical filters are circuits that uh, passes uh, some bands of frequencies and rejects the unwanted bands. So as you can see in this uh, figure we are having a composite signal that is the combination of uh, a low frequency high magnitude signal and uh, some high frequencies. So these are three frequencies which are being combined to form this composite signal. If we give it to a low pass filter, only the lower frequency will be allowed to pass. If we give it to a high pass filter, so this higher frequency will be allowed to pass through this filter. If we uh, allow the band to pass, then only the intermediate frequency, which is uh, right here, this frequency will be passed and the rest of the frequencies will be the signal fre signals of such frequencies would be rejected so this is the uh, signal in term of let's say x of t whereas this is the response of the signal in term of frequency so this is x of f we check the amount of signal the magnitude of the signal either voltage or current at this output with respect to frequency so if the frequency is uh, lower so we will be having a low pass filter if frequency is higher we would have a high pass filter and if uh, we have a range of frequencies that are being rejected and some are passed so th those uh, filters would be known as the band pass filter whereas notch filter it is just like uh, the cut that we make in the uh, clothes uh, just like this that we flip it and then we cut it so it becomes something like this so notch is this thing but actually a band pass filter might be a band rejection filter might be like this if we say that this is an ideal so it will be like this if we uh, use capacitors of some higher values then it would be something like this we will discuss these things later but this is just for general understanding the frequency at which the transition between passing and rejection uh, rejection occurs is termed as the cutoff frequencies cutoff frequencies are those frequencies at which the change in this graph occurs. So this is the cutoff frequency right here. This is the cutoff frequency right here. We are having two cutoff frequencies here and here and we are again having two cutoff frequencies. So two cutoff frequencies means that we are having two capacitors 
और टू इंडक्टर और वन कैपेसिटर वन इंडक्टर वन एफ सी मीन्स दैट वी आर हैविंग वन कैपेसिटर वन और वन इंडक्टर सो एंड ऑफकोर्स सम रेजिस्टर फॉर वोल्टेज ड्रॉप सो टू कट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसीज टू कंपोनेंट्स वन कट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी वन कंपोनेंट द बैंड ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट इज पास इज आर नॉन एज द पास बैंड सो पास बैंड इज वट वी विल गेट ऑन द आउटपुट द फ्रिक्वेंसीज दैट आर रिजेक्टेड आर नॉन एज द रिजेक्टेड बैंड Filters can be active filter or passive filter depending upon the component that we use. If we use capacitor, inductor, resistor, uh, inductor L, this would be a passive filter because all can only do drops. Nothing can give us extra energy. So passive filter would have these things. Active filters might have some amplifier. or amplifier or it can have let's say some uh, circuitry for gain let's say bjt etc or fet so uh, when active components are in the circuit we call it the active filter and when passive components are in the circuit we call it passive filters now let's uh, check the general design of such filter we have already discussed it but uh, let's uh, summarize it the simplest filter are uh, constructed by two passive elements say rc or rl so the capacitors that are constructed using rc are lighter in terms of weight these are a bit bulky that's why uh, when we design an active filter we use uh, rc as well because capacitors are lighter and semiconductor devices are also lighter so it becomes a light filter when we want some high fidelity uh, voices or something like that then we go to this uh, rl filter so inductors are bulky and we have bigger devices for it uh, we also use higher values of resistances in it because uh, the inductor requires that so uh, this is about the general structure of the uh, filter the filter that passes low frequency are referred as low pass filter and those that uh, passes high pa uh, frequency are known as high pass filter these are some of the Uh, structures which are for ideal filter so the pass band is to the zero side so it is a low pass filter the pass band is to the uh, upper side of the band so it is a high pass the pass band is in the between uh, lower and higher so it is a band pass and there are two pass bands this one and this one so this is a band stop filter it is stopping this particular then so say we are having some uh, talking in a phone line and let's say this is our talk uh, talking region but uh, there is a bit constant noise say a tone in our um, communication let's say we are talking and there is some background tone of 15 uh, 115 hertz in it so this is a heavy basic tone what will we do to remove this tone of course we will use a band stop filter that will notch out this particular region so what will be the structure of that filter that filter would be having something like this so if we remove this thing our um, voice band would be something like this and now it is not having this 115 basic Uh, voice if we remove three four components from our voice the quality of our voice won't affect but if we uh, accept uh, this uh, 115 hertz uh, noise in it then it can be uh, a bit noisy to our ears so notch filters are used uh, are used in such scenarios now coming towards the uh, passive filters 
passive filters are made up of uh, capacitors, inductors and resistors and have no amplifying elements. So this is the basic definition of a passive filter that it will have no amplifying element and will consist of these three components R, L and C. So it means that the output can never be greater than the input. So output uh, the gain in voltage or current can be lesser or equal to 1. Again, we are having uh, three types in passive filters, the low pass, band pass and high pass uh, filter. Also, uh, the filters are named uh, based on the range of frequency. So, higher frequency would be termed as high pass, lower frequency filter would be termed as low pass filter. So, that is another de definition. Uh, the rejected band is actually attenuation in the signal. So, if we have, let's say, uh, two sine waves, uh, one is uh, 13 uh, sine of 3t and other is 15 sine of 30t and we want to reject this particular uh, frequency from the pass band so what will we do we will reduce this magnitude of this signal so it uh, if it is like 1 sine of 3t plus 15 uh, sine of 30t so this 15 is much greater than we, uh, this 1 as compared to this 13 so this is what we do by saying blocking the signal uh, pa passive filter never gives a positive gain uh, as uh, this equation says that the log of 1 is 0 and the log of anything lesser than uh, 1 would be uh, lesser than 0 so it will be negative minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus dBs would be the negative if we multiply 20 with it so this thing that it never gives a positive gain it always gives negative gain because the gain is either 1 or less than 1 and the log of less than 1's are negative uh, input signal is usually alternating voltage with a band of frequencies as we discussed in this particular example that we had this frequency uh, 3 omega equal to 3 and omega equal to 30 so a band a range of frequency is given at the input and the unwanted signal is uh, attenuated depending upon uh, which way around we connect the resistor and capacitor we can get uh, low pass and high pass filter so no matter what components we have if we connect it in the right manner we will get the desired filter but if we connect it in the uh, manner that is not wanted then we will get a wrong filter so R and C are the components that we will use in our filters from now onwards but uh, if we connect R C in even series and take output from this port it will behave like something else and if we take output from this port it will behave like something else so this is an important point that the order uh, the uh, sequence and the structure of the components that we connect is important now go uh, coming towards the uh, low pass uh, filter low pass filter allow low frequencies so this is the first definition of the low pass frequency so it allows low frequencies and starting from 0 hertz so it is always included in the low pass that it will always allow a DC component to pass through it so 0 hertz is DC component and we can pass DC component by uh, just using a capacitor how uh, if we 
use a capacitor the AC components will be grounded and the DC will be passed on so this gives us a notion about the structure of the filter the cutoff frequency is determined by the use of this capacitor and some resistor with it so at this point we have uh, decided the structure of the filter that it must have a signal parallel to ground capacitor signal to ground capacitor and a series resistance with it so that we can calculate the uh, xc is equal to r equations omega okay so this is the first uh, thing that we should keep in mind a simple passive uh, LPF uh, can be easily made by connecting together in series a single resistance with a single coil as we discussed here and as this figure suggests uh, in this type of filter arrangement the input signal Vn is applied to the series combination of uh, this and this uh, capacitor and inductor but the voltage is always taken from the capacitor so as we speak uh, the capacitor is used as the uh, terminal uh, to be connected to the output side so the output will not have high frequencies if we have some high frequency what will happen capacitor xc is 1 hour j omega c so if omega is high xc will become lower and if xc is low what will happen the signal will just go through this side and will be grounded so lower xc is not good for uh, high frequency signal so high frequency will be uh, attenuated here a component will be passed here but it will be a very lower component whereas if we say that omega is low let's say omega is zero what will happen xc will be infinite so this will be an open circuit for a low frequency so lower frequency signal would go directly to the V out so this is the case for the uh, for such a filter this type of filter uses one capacitor so what is mean by this this means that it is a first order filter it will have one derivative or one integration in its equation so a first order filter is also known as one pole filter so it is a one pole filter and because it has only one reactive component say a capacitor is connected in this circuit at low frequencies the XC reactance is large so this thing XC is large at low frequencies uh, this is a pretty much better pen I haven't used this uh, before I guess this is very visible okay so uh, the XC is higher at low frequencies and lower at higher frequency let me uh, do some amendments with it I guess some of the part is uh, hidden over here okay now it's better so uh, at higher frequency what will happen this XC would be grounded and the signal will be grounded as well okay so this is uh, it for the f uh, low pass f frequencies now uh, digging in more into this uh, first order low pass filter uh, as we know that this is a series circuit so in a series circuit we, uh, we use uh, the divider rule for voltage signal we discussed yesterday that most of the signals are voltage signals because a lower voltage can easily be amplified by some other circuitry so we use voltage as our signals uh, also the uh, resistance combination divider rule uh, is applied in it but since the R2 in here is actually the XC so we will say that it is uh, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into Vn that will be converted to 
एक्सी डिवाइडेड बाय आर प्लस एक्सी इंटू 